Welcome to the DuraCloud Sync Tool training video. This tutorial will demonstrate all of the steps required to download and run the Sync Tool in order to transfer content stored on a local device to DuraCloud. The DuraCloud Synchronization Utility, more often referred to as the DuraCloud Sync Tool, is a utility which was created in order to provide a simple way to move files from a local file system to DuraCloud and also keep the files in DuraCloud synchronized with those on a local system. To use the Sync tool, you must first download the Java JAR file located on the DuraCloud documentation page for the Sync tool at wiki.duraspace.org, highlighted on the screen. After downloading the Sync tool to your local machine, you must then interact with the tool via a terminal or command line interface, as I have demonstrated here. First, navigate to the directory where you have downloaded and saved the sync tool. To display the help information for the sync tool, run the following command java space dash jar space sync tool dash version. In this case, the version of the sync tool I'm using is 1.0.0 dash driver. Dot jar, and then hit enter. What the command line will then print out for you is a complete list of the commands available in the sync tool. At this point, you have several different configuration options that you need to add to the above command that are required when running the sync tool. Please note that these required commands are in no particular order. The dash C command indicates the location of content on your local machine that you would like to transfer to DuraCloud. In this example, the location is a folder named Carissa located on my desktop. The dash H command is the host name of the DuraCloud instance where you would like your content stored. Please note that you must have access to a running DuraCloud instance to use the sync tool. In this example, the DuraCloud instance is demo.duracloud.org. The dash S command is the name of the space within your DuraCloud instance where you want to transfer your content. The space should already exist in DuraCloud and the name must match exactly. In this instance, the name of the space is space name. The dash U and dash P configuration options are the username and password that you use to log into your DuraCloud instance. The sync tool will not work without proper credentials to authenticate to DuraCloud. The dash W command is the location of a local directory where you would like the sync tool to store its log files. As the sync tool runs, it creates a backup of the configuration in the work directory, as well as the status of the transfer of each file. This allows you to start the sync tool again at another point in time, and essentially pick up where it left off. This also allows you to keep your local directory exactly synchronized with DuraCloud, as the sync tool will track what files it has transferred. The sync tool will continue to run in the command line until you choose to turn it off or the transfer has completed. To do that, simply type the letter X and hit enter to stop the tool. To view the status of the sync tool at any time during the transfer process, simply type the letter S into the command line and hit enter. For further information about the sync tool, to view operational notes, or to read the full list of configuration options, please visit the sync tool documentation page on the DuraSpace wiki at the URL shown on the screen.